Hello and welcome back my fellow Vuperians to the Powder Toy. In today we're going to be starting off with doing some tests on pressure bombs. Because I've continually been saying that I think that you can get a pretty good explosion just using pressure and nothing else. But I haven't actually done anything to back up that claim. Alright. Please put in, in the comments below how many people you think are going to die. All right, a few frames. So we can see the pressure spreading out and this shock wave is just being shot. Let's see what happens when it hits that helicopter. Oh, it's ripping it apart. It's hitting the buildings, ripping the buildings apart. The clock tower, it's taking out the walls of that building. We have low pressure zones where it reverberated right off. So you, your eardrums would definitely be pierced at this point. And look at the pressure, it's still coming out. Wow! The effectiveness of just a high pressure shooting out in this direction completely wiped out all of the buildings in its path. There's, there's literally nothing left. <laughs> Where it, it shot like this, so its target is just absolutely obliterated. The clock tower is gone. The buildings around it are pretty much gone. All right. So let's see what happens if we remove the entire outside and just let it be a big circle shockwave. All right, shockwave is out. Rips apart that helicopter immediately. Yeah, this is a much wider range of destruction. It's not as concentrated, but look at how far the Even the pressure wave that goes here, I think this will still, yeah, shatters all the windows. And the interesting thing is this is what happens in real life. If you've ever seen on like Reddit, uh, a video of like an explosion in like a warehouse district or something, the explosion will be super far away, but the shock wave will go all the way to the other side of the city and knock out the windows. Um, Pressure is what will usually kill you during an explosion, uh, not the, the heat or anything. It's literally rippling your body into pieces. Fun fact, good, good thing to think about. <laughs> um, this is a positive pressure bomb, but there is another thing we can do which is a negative pressure bomb. Oh god, that reminds me of this story with a oil rig. Don't, don't google it, it's bad. <laughs> Negative pressure can be very dangerous too, because it can, uh, well, it pulls everything towards it. So you can suck, suck you out a window, suck you through a small metal pipe, anything that's in the way really, you, you'll just get liquefied, which isn't very fun. Um, I, I actually don't have experience being liquefied, but I'm just going to assume it's not fun. All right. I need everyone's favorite font now. Um... Ah, oh, Gibson. Gibson is... I think I'm actually gonna go back, to, go back to using it for my thumbnails. I don't know. My recent thumbnails, I just... I don't think they're quite as good as my old ones. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I want to think of something neat to do. Something a little bit different. You know, it's funny. I was thinking about the singularity. Is singularity even... Oh, it is. Jeez. So Singularity creates super, super low pressure, which kind of feeds off of the uh, thing that we've been testing with today, which is pressure. Look at that. It just goes and it keeps going. But what about a large amount of Singularity? Look at the amount of damage it can do. It's like a black hole. Can it- is it gonna go into the bunker? Oh my god, it went into the bunker. Wow. I haven't really seen something do that much to- Oh my god, you know what would be a good idea? I still think colloids are way cooler than soap, not gonna lie. Okay. So, if we get Rav Bomb right? If we get Grav Bomb, I'm kind of concerned. This is probably going to be awful. If you get Grav Bomb and then you get Singularity, I feel like this is way too much. We're gonna put something else in the center as well. 
Oh, Grav Bomb Singularity. And then we'll do... T this is going to be the most overkill bomb I've ever made. This is ridiculous. Okay, um... And then we put Proton. Oh no. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be really good. Okay, ready? We're gonna go frame by frame. Very exciting. First frame. Wow, even the first frame is impressively destructive. The bomb is collapsing under its own pressure, but it's also expanding under the pressure of the protons. It doesn't seem to know what it wants to do. For now, we're gonna turn on the fancy display and just look at what it looks like when it goes off. It's already ripped through the outer shell. We have that proton wave coming from the deuterium, which is going to heat everything up. But what should really do the damage is a singularity and gravity bombs. So, there we go, the initial meltification. Oh, and the singularity is doing it! Oh my god, the singularity is just ripping holes into the bunker. Oh, wow. That is literally the first time. Oh, and it set another one off! <laughs> oh, jeez. That's the fastest we've ever broken into that bunker. Oh, we forgot to turn on gravity. That wasn't even the most destructive it could have been. Uh-oh. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Turn on gravity, and now frame by frame. Ooh! What the actual heck? It turned all the protons into, like, lines. Oh, wow, this is very messy. I can't even really tell what's going on anymore. It's kind of- the bomb is flow. Did you see that shockwave? Oh, that shockwave was intense. Wow, all the buildings and stuff are gone, but is the Singularity going to still rip into... Yes! Yeah, the Singularity is doing its job, it's ripping into the bunker. Holy moly, is this it? Is this the bomb that cannot be stopped? Wow! Jeez. It's so violent. There's almost nothing left in the map. Almost everything has been torn apart and thrown out of the map. It's so empty. This is really odd. This isn't like your normal bomb where it just melts everything. This legitimately teleports everything into another dimension. There's nothing left. It's a completely different experience. Oh, and another thing is being set off on that side now. Jeez! There's almost nothing left! And all the singularity is just exploding. Wow! That is really impressive. There is basically nothing left now. Ooh, fireworks. So the question becomes, what would happen if we locked this into a solid box, right? So everything can't be thrown away like that. Let's put this here, turn on ambient heat and Newtonian gravity, and let's see exactly what happens. So that first wave of just melting and absolute destruction with the gravity bomb pulling everything in, that only takes a few seconds to knock out the entire city. Then the singularity starts ripping things up. It goes into the bunker, Oh wow, the singularities are actually basically black holes. They actually do delete stuff. Oh, that's so weird. Look at it go. There's just like waves of deletion. And then we get these fireworks displays after they're done. 
That was far more effective than last time, though, with the walls. The entire map was reduced to nothing extremely quickly. Now all that we have left is, like, this weird... You know what? These singularities are really interesting. Alright, fantastic. So we have just created a vortex chamber. So it's just going to mix around randomly forever. And it looks to be pretty even, so I'm happy with that. Ooh. Alright, so now that we have powder in there, now we get part two. I want to put singularity in here and see what happens. I want to feed the singularity and let it fly all over the place, but it's trapped. Ooh! Look at that. Heat display, the heat is really trapped in there. Wow, the singularity did drop the pressure in the entire thing. That's pretty neat. I didn't even think about that. Oh! There it goes, another one goes off. Well, let's go ahead and feed it. And what better to feed it than deuterium? Let's... Let's let things get real. <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? Oh well, we'll throw something in to absorb that. I don't even know what we're doing anymore, we're just... This is, this is just intriguing at this point. We're creating a very nice meal for the singularities, that is. We've created this, like, strange proton chamber where nothing really makes sense anymore. The fans are kind of forming this into a square, which is neat. Like, let's go ahead and get our singularity again. We just sprinkle it around. Look at it go! Just eats everything in its path, man. It's like me with ice cream. Interesting. I'm kind of intrigued. If we were to add noble gas into this chamber, Oh, wow! Gases are much more violent in here. Look at it go. But then when the singularity erupts, we should get an interesting reaction with the noble. At least I think so. Let's see what happens. Mmm, I love playing with singularity chambers. Huh. Where did the singularity go and why isn't it exploding? Did the singularity destroy the other singularity? Someone said to look at Cy Cyclone. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, so the Singularity is pulling in the Noble Gas. We can actually see it right over there. But will it do anything interesting? I'm honestly intrigued by this element, and I want to see what we can make it do. Adding a little bit of spark to the Noble might make this a little bit more exciting. Hmm. Intriguing. Certainly intriguing. Oh, we have created a plasma chamber now. Very interesting. If I add some hydrogen, hydrogen's fun, because hydrogen will actually uh, perform fusion if we get it hot enough. 
Can I spark this? I don't know if there's enough. Okay. Well, that's kind of pretty, actually. Very. Oh, look at the. Man, the uh, pressure is just so interesting to watch. Look at the little vortices that open up. No invention today, we're just playing around with a neutron slash singularity slash pressure chamber. Put streamlines in there, that's not a bad idea. Look at it go. <laughs> it's a confused streamline. Alright, I'm gonna try to heat this up and put a little bit more hydrogen in and see if we can get it to do a fusion. Let me get my heat tool. Don't worry, you're only at 5,000 degrees. 6,000 degrees. 7,000 degrees. 8,000 degrees. 9,000 degrees. Alright, that's pretty good. Increase the pressure. E. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Look at it go! Oh, it did it again! Oh, that's neat. I've never had a double, uh... Oh! Look at all the particles it's letting out! Which makes me wonder if I should grab... I wonder if we put Void in the corners. Like this... ...and this. Because it seems like everything kinda goes to the corners after it's done. Ooh, that gave us an interesting response. I don't know what's going on over here, it seems kind of stuck. Look at it go. We've definitely got some neat reactions. It is a... Okay, so let's add Singularity now. Colloidovania. <laughs> uh, what reaction is going on right now? Well, we've currently got a fusion reactor. I'm gonna put singularities into it. Oh! Putting singularities into it definitely did so. Oh my god. It's a star! We've got a star! <laughs> Wait a second. Do we at It kind of looks like a star. Um. Hello, sir? Are you the star I've been waiting for? Oh, you're going to the edge. That's not a very star of you. I mean... It does kind of look like a star, though. Aha! What if I had more? Miniature little stars? This is bound to end interestingly. So oh, this year is they destroyed all of the hydrogen. Feed! Oh, jeez, it burned instead of fusing. Hmm. That probably shouldn't... Oh, the pressure got low. Oh, that's why we're having issues. Because Singularity creates super low pressure. Ah... Uh... Sorry, I am skilled at raising the pressure. By raising the pressure. And then I gotta heat it up again. And there we go. There's some fusion. Always start your day with a little bit of fusion. Oh. Is it stable? Ah, it seems like I broke everything. The Singularity broke the void. That's interesting. Wee. So Singularities are a lot of fun. What about Gravitrons in this mix?
This is just kind of the nuclear physics fun stream, you know? Don't got much else to worry about. We. <laughs> this simulation is really confused about itself. Don't worry, I'll help out by heating you up. Jeez. Very interesting. I don't know, is there anything else I want to play around with? We've had some interesting reactions so far. What about adding some things like exotic? Let's add some exotic to the mix, and let's add some broken vibranium to the mix. <laughs> I mean, at this point, why the heck not? Oh, it's all gonna be exotic now, because, uh, exotic turns broken vibranium into exotic. Yeah, it's converting it. Oh, it set it off! Huh? What happened to the exotic? I didn't know that it got destroyed by whatever we're using. Interesting. There must be electrons? Yeah, there must be. Oh, with the exotic, this is neat. Look at the exotic it absolutely destroyed. Wee. I just put a lot in. <laughs> what could what could go wrong? Accelerator. Accelerates nearby elements. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Things are just sticking to it. Huh. Well, I expected a little bit more. Alright. Very interesting. Hmm. Do I still have- <gasps> I do! Yo! <laughs> I've still got it. <laughs> oh, look at the result of that! There's just plasma everywhere. Wow. That made it really angry. Now it's just particle heaven. What are the yellow particles? Photons. Uh. What if I put glass in the middle? I'm, I'm kind of curious. Ooh. Is there like unbreakable glass I could add? I want unbreakable glass that I can just put in the center. Big boom. We all that happened in that one is photons. So it is a oh no, the clone got damaged. I've never seen clone be destroyed like that before. There must be singularity in these corners, stealing all of the hydrogen, which seems to be what's happening. Ah! Well! That's fun. Well, those are some interesting reactions. You guys should go try some out on your own, because building uh, crazy reactors like this is part of the most fun you can have in this game, but for now, I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I have to go program my project, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Next episode, we'll actually make something.